Everyone wants your best shot. You represent the ACC, so no matter where you go, you have to bring your A game at all times. The legacy kind of speaks for itself. You can't execute now. I know damn well you can't do it in the game. Go, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Every year, the, the, the bottom floor is getting to the NCAA tournament. And then from there, you want to be able to put together a, a good quality run. Come on now. Everybody's bought in, everybody's on the same page, and everybody wants to win. Got 14 ladies, perfect. We're gonna split you guys in two teams. Make it very simple, seven and seven. We're gonna, we're gonna teach you guys a, a few different actions that we'll run throughout this year. So as you watch us, you'll actually see some of the things we'll be doing. So we'll allow for you guys to walk through it. Our guys are gonna play defense, you know, as you guys go through it. <laughs> That's what we came out here to do, have fun, right? <laughs> This is our women's basketball clinic, and um, it's a chance for us to interact with some of our fans. Everybody's having fun, they're excited. Jump shot. Yeah, jump shot. We're just trying to help you be better. The fan base is incredible. Even on our bad games, was a game that most people may not want to see, they still here cheering us on, being really excited, talking to us, and having a good time. Proceeds from this clinic goes to buying Christmas toys for families in our community. Well, for us, we're very proud of our history. We're very happy with, with the tradition that we have. We've had some players and great coaches that come through here. You know, whether you're talking about a Tim Duncan or Chris Paul, those are two names that jump out to you right away. In college athletics, you have to build it the right way. If you don't build it the right way, your foundation won't be solid. And without a solid foundation, you can't have sustained success. The main thing is the culture. Guys like each other, guys like being around each other, and guys love being in the gym now. And that was half the battle when I first got here. We, we took a step forward getting into the NCAA tournament. We like the direction of the program, and we just want to continue to build each and every year. We're trying to get back to where Wake Forest basketball should be, and that starts with every day um, in our preparation with practice. Yeah, adjusting to it, it was different, because you're usually, at the school, you're ready to go home, but Usually I had to stay stay on campus, so it felt weird not leaving campus and just staying here the whole time, going from school to practice, and just staying here. Usually I just go home, but no. Nah, but I mean, I, it's, a, it's a big difference, but I mean, I, I love it so far. I feel like I was just in middle school and high school just dreaming. So, but it's a, it's a great feeling. I mean, you're actually on the team now about to play for Wake Forest. <laughs> Our freshmen have to have a level of, of humility when they come in here because, you know, they're going from the top dogs um, in high school to back to the bottom tier. Always practicing individual workouts, weights, study hall, class. It's, it's a grind, like, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's a lot. Do it away? Yes. Come on, come on. Stop. I'm, I'm taking my son to class right now. As you can see, he a little, you know, a little slow. No. Are you sure you are? Right? Are you nervous because of the camera? No, right I'm here? not nervous. I'm just saying. I'm not nervous. How you feel about this upcoming year, nephew? Great, I great. big things about out get, of you, man. About to get buckets. Okay. You already know. Whatever. This big time guy right here, so. No, you're a big time. You're leaving after this year, like I said. you my education. Four years? All four, baby. <laughs> Usually I have a leash. Hook right on his book bag, but today I forgot in my locker, so. Next time, we'll have it. Pick it right here. Next time I dress up and y'all come, I'm going to have a belt and discipline him for every time he, you know, he disrespect me. So here's what I want you to do. You have a note card in front of you. Put your name on it. Here's the question. If you could be remembered 
at your high school. So this is your experience at your high school. If you could be remembered for one of the three accomplishments below, which one would you have preferred as a high school senior? Don't say anything out loud. Or would you have rather be remembered in your high school as a brilliant student, a star athlete, or the most popular? In high school. I always had a high GPA. Touch my head, man. I got to put you in on the corner. On the corner. So right now we come out of our preseason boot camp, um, which the guys enjoy and hate at the same time. So we like to kind of get these guys in a position where we can make them more resilient and more robust so they can handle and tolerate the stress of being a collegiate basketball player. Some quality reps moving through and getting our bodies back after boot camp. All right, any questions there? Remember, you should feel better when you leave. You got one more week of transition work, and then we'll get back into our normal schedule. Any questions? Good. All right, let's go to work. Let's go. Lock in. Rip cage down. Good posture. Sit all the way down. All the way up and squeeze. Let's go. Good, Brian. Every rep's got to be perfect. Let's go. It's six reps. Every rep. There you go, BC. There you go. Let's go. Hit it. So you look at a guy like Sean D when he came in, I mean he already really has an NBA body. He has like a pro body, um, but for Sean D we had to really work on things like mobility, um, stability, flexibility in his ankles and his hips and get him to bend and move better. Somebody like Mitch or like Keyshawn, those are highly skilled guys. They're shooters, they're slashers, they're very talented and very skilled. And they've been in the system for a long time. They've played 90 plus games. That's a big difference in a freshman that's coming in and hasn't played a college basketball game. Incredible hole shake, I guess. That looks like pure swamp water. <laughs> Sewage. Play an American, Olivier. Family on three. One, two, three. Family on three. Grab a shake. Okay, guys, for practice day, I'm mic'd up. Flow hoops. Okay, for all the new guys, this doesn't stop me from coaching and saying what I want to say. Today, we go a couple hours, make sure we lock in and we focus. We're going to implement some zone stuff today, all right? So let's make sure we have good energy, good effort, and encourage one another. All right, let's go. Amen. Hard work. One, two, three. Hard work. Hey, split up half and half. Length of the court closeouts. Let's go. Let's go. Split up. Split up. It's a sprint to the closeout. High hands. You got to come to a stop, break down the stance. Get a hip touch, jog to the next baseline, sprint out. Okay, everybody got it? Start us off, start us off. Terrence, get in the stance, Terrence. We're not doing this, hey, 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 and going. Have attention to detail and get our work done. Let's go. Coach Manning believes in hard work. He believes in really being technical, being trying to be perfect as much as you can. Those small details can get us over the hump when it comes to game times and being in crucial moments in the game. Hey, now, hey, listen, this is no different than in a game. We call out a play, we need you to execute. If you can't execute now, I know damn well you can't do it in a game. We got people in the stands. Easy decision for me. You'll stay over there on the bench with me. Let's go. He told me on my visit that they're gonna get me out of, my, uh, out of my comfort zone. Keep your hand on the ball, Sean D. He knows what, the, what it takes to get to the next level. What Mitch do every time he caught the ball on you? And did what? Jabbed you off, created space. Come on now. Four minute break, Biggs on the free throw line first. Guards get a drink. Hurry up, Biggs, let's go. Love our group. I mean, a lot of energy. That's all we want right now. We're kind of tightening it up on details. We're not expecting a lot of, you know, great things in uh, second practice, but the effort's there. I expect this to be the last time, all right? Here, here we go. Let's go. Expectations have risen um, ever since Coach Manning got here. We took a big step uh, last year to get back to the tournament. We made it. We didn't make a run in this year. We want to win the ACC championship, and we want to win the national championship. Stay down! Stay down! Our expectation is to win every game, get better every practice, and continue to learn. We got a lot of young guys, so right now we're starting to develop into a player-led team, not a coach's-led team, and that's what you want.
We can score with anybody in the country. We proved that last year. We're hoping to get this program back where it used to be. We're excited about playing Paradise Jam. We're going to get some really good ball games, and it's going to just help prepare us for ACC play. We're making sure our guys are locked in and dialed in up until this tournament is very important. There are a lot of people that help build the history and tradition of Wake Forest, and we're just trying to add to the pages.